Hello students, welcome to Legacy Eyes Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a recent breakthrough that has been achieved in the area of nuclear fusion reactor in the China. Now, what is nuclear fusion? What this reactor try, is trying to do? And how significant is it as far as the future energy generation is concerned? Let us try to understand this in more detail. So, first of all, to give you the background of this particular topic, for the first time in the history, the Chinese nuclear energy reactor or nuclear fusion reactor to be more precise has made a record. And how it has made a record? It has basically maintained the operational state within the reactor for almost, we can say, 1000 seconds that is equivalent to 17 minutes. Now, this is the record which has never been achieved before by any reactor in any part of the world. The previous record also was of the same reactor from China that it achieved in year 2023, 2023, where it was able to maintain its operational state for 400 seconds. Now, what do we mean by the term operational state? Operational state does not mean that the reactor has been able to produce electricity using the process of nuclear fusion, neither it even carried out any kind of nuclear fusion reaction. Rather, the operational state here refers that the reactor was able to manage and maintain the matter in the state of plasma. If you know that initially or traditionally we used to uh, understand that any matter has three phases, that is liquid phase, solid phase and gaseous phase. Later on we understood that there is one more phase that the matter takes especially at a very very high temperature of more than millions of degrees of Celsius, that phase is called as plasma phase. So, the reactor of China here has been able to maintain plasma phase in a steady state of confinement that is for 17 minutes longer than it had been previously possible. So, this is what we are talking about and this is why so many uh, suddenly we have so much we can understand. The uh, excitement is triggered among the energy enthusiasts as well as among the industries and the companies which are working in the same sphere. Now, if we try to understand about the nuclear fusion, nuclear fusion is a reaction that generally takes place at the center and core of most of the star including our sun. And this reaction occurs at extremely high temperature. For example, we talk about our sun itself. At the core of sun, it is believed that where nuclear fusion occurs, temperature remains in the range of 15 million degree Celsius. So within the reactor, when the matter is to be contained in the plasma state, it has to be kept suspended in a very, very confined space. And it is also surrounded by very strong magnetic field as well as walls. And this is what the reactor has been able to do. Now, which reactor has been able to perform this feat? The answer is, the reactor is currently situated in the Anhui province of China. This is the model of reactor as you can see from the outside. And the reactor is called as East Reactor. That means Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokama. That is the full form of this particular reactor. Now, as far as the real life electricity generating reactors are concerned, for them to actually generate electricity, and basically uh, they help them they help this electricity to pass through the thermal grids and all that they will have to remain and maintain this state for hours even days at a stretch and you can understand how far behind we are because currently we are able to maintain the state at least in china is only for 17 minutes so we need to do that for days and even weeks if we have to continuously produce the electricity now, if you try to understand about the nuclear fusion, we know that already across many countries of the world, energy is being produced using nuclear fission. Now, nuclear fusion is quite opposite to nuclear fission because in the fusion, you have two isotopes of hydrogen. One is the deuterium and other is a tritium. They fuse together. And when they fuse together, as a result of this, a huge amount of energy is generated and then they combine and join together to form a helium atom. And also one extra neutron is basically left out as a result of this reaction. So this entire process of energy creation is what we call as nuclear fusion, the fuel for any burning star in our galaxy or in our universe overall. Now the nuclear fusion is also being portrayed as the energy source of the future. And theoretical work and understanding of this process goes back 70, 80 years and that is why the technology related to fusion has been under development for more than 70 years. But the progress of this technological de development and advancement has been very, very slow. And even if you look at the major journals, scientific journals, such as published by the International Atomic Energy Agencies, they believe that at least we will take uh, 2050, that means we will have to 
we have to reach the mid of this particular century, then we can even imagine any functional fusion reactor in any part of the world. Because the fusion process produces far greater amount of energy than any other sources and that is why it is very very difficult to contain this energy and maintain a reactor which is able to continuously produce it. So for example, if you try to think that why we are portraying nuclear fusion as an energy source of future. The reason is because today entire world is suffering from the problem of fuel crisis. We know that we cannot extract and exploit crude oil, natural gas or any kind of non-renewable resources because it puts additional burden on our planet by causing climate change, for example, global warming and all that. Now, this is something that the nuclear fusion is free of. Not only that, it is most energy efficient method of production of electricity. For example, if you compare with the most conventional method of electricity production, for example, in India itself, 70% of our energy is produced by thermal power plant, which is running on the coal. So, one gram of uranium or one gram of nuclear fusion fuel can produce as much energy as about 8 tons of coal. So that is how we can understand that why we are portraying it as a, force, a source of the future fuel. Now, not only that it is very energy efficient, it has certain other advantages that is not found in any other source of energy material. For example, if we talk about the input materials, no matter which kind of electricity or from which source you are producing the electricity, you need to have a large amount of raw material. That is not the case here and also the raw material is readily available across the entire atmosphere and it is cheap in nature because I told you that raw material for nuclear fusion is nothing but the isotopes of hydrogen. Second, it has zero emission footprint as opposed to any kind of fossil fuel. If the nuclear fusion is producing electricity, you will not have any byproduct that can damage or threaten the environment. It will not add to the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And unlike the fusion process, because nuclear fusion also we can understand that there is a certain drawbacks and the most uh, critical drawback of the nuclear fusion process is that it leaves nuclear waste. Now, that is something which is not created in the nuclear fusion. So, it is much more better than the fission also. Now, if you talk about the recent breakthrough that has been achieved, it is not only from the China, but many other places we have seen some significant breakthroughs. For example, in the year 2021, there is a UK based jet laboratory. So, this laboratory was able to produce about 12 megawatt of electricity, but only for a fraction of second, almost 5 seconds. And even in that time, it believes that it had enough to cater to the demand of about 10,000 homes for that period of time. That means in a sense, we can say the energy produced by jet laboratory using the nuclear fusion or electricity produced using nuclear fusion could have powered 10,000 homes for 5 minutes. So this is a very incremental development, but nonetheless, we are moving at a much more faster pace as we have expected as far as the nuclear fusion based electricity generation is concerned. Similarly, in the next following year, a similar kind of feat was achieved from the United States where the reactor of the US achieved a net gain in the energy for the first time. Now, you will ask that what do we under mean by the term net gain? Now, we have discussed in the beginning that nuclear fusion is a process where a huge amount of energy input is required as well. Now, if you are inputting or you are putting in certain amount of energy and then nuclear fusion is providing you a certain amount of energy. So, the only economic sense or viability of such process will be if the energy you gain as output is higher than energy that you have input. So earlier this was not possible. Earlier scientists in this reactor, they are putting more energy than what they were getting as output in return. And that has changed now. Now they are getting a total extra amount of energy as compared to the energy that they have supplied in beginning. So that is also a very important milestone or breakthrough. Then. In the year 2023, as you discussed, the reactor that we are talking about from China, that is the East reactor. And now, recently we talk about it has been able to maintain the plasma state for 1000 minutes or something like that. So, this is the latest addition to these successes. And that is how we are talking about that the ITER, this is going to be the largest fusion reactor. And it is not only a project by certain countries, few countries, rather it is an international collaborative project where more than 30 countries are participating. This project is coming up in the southern region of the France and even proudly we can say India is one of the major member countries, one of the seven member countries that has contributed to the construction and research of the ITER. Now ITER, if you look at the full form, it stands for International 
thermonuclear experimental reactor so as clear from the name itself it is not going to produce electricity for commercial purposes rather it is an experimental reactor to prove the concept so that is what it is going to do now this project itself is already under construction and development over a long period of time since 2005 we can say and once it takes shape its final shape its final form it is going to become one of the biggest international science facilities in the world and according to the current timeline it would begin deuterium tritium fusion in the beginning of the video i told you that deuterium that is isotope of hydrogen tritium is another isotope of hydrogen so they fuse together to form helium and in the process releases a huge amount of energy and a neutron so this kind of fusion reaction it is expected that iter will be able to do by year 2039 almost 15 years 14 years from now and it will be able to produce 500 megawatt of fusion power now as discuss the name of the reactor is experimental reactor so obviously it is not going to convert the output heat energy that it is getting into electricity that it can then transfer into the thermal grids or power grids rather its success is expected to pave the way for the machines to start using fusion fusion energy as a regular source of electricity generation so as i told you it is going to act as a proof of the concept and also it will prove that we can theoretically we are we know that fusion can create energy now practically also will be able to do so now because of the growing interest of uh, many many private companies in this area we are seeing a shifting or changing landscape of the fusion reaction and based energy in the entire world and the example of this we can see from the recent report published by international atomic energy agency the report is called as world fusion outlook 2023 now in the report the agency has clearly stated that in the year 2023 itself private companies across the world operating in the space of nuclear fusion energy had attracted 6.2 billion dollars of investment which is largest till date if you look at any particular financial year and if you look at the entire world it believes that today we have around 43 minimum 43 such countries operating in this space scattered across 10 different regions 10 different countries of the world now apart from china uk already we have looked at the example of a major company that is situated in united states called as helion now helion is promising to generate at least 50 megawatt of electricity by 2028 and the company aims to become the first firm to start producing commercial electricity from fusion reactions not only that it says that after it is able to produce electricity the electricity can be transferred to the thermal power grid and it will be used by the microsoft a well known software company in united states for its own purposes apart from that another company from the us itself which is working in collaboration with one of the most prestigious technical universities of the world that is mit massachusetts institute of technology and the company is called as commonwealth fusion systems so they have also joined their hands together with the purpose of generating at least 400 megawatt of grid scale electricity grid scale electricity again here refers to the electricity that can be produced by the reactor and then can be transferred to the grid and from there it can be supplied to the household industrial complexes or any other such kind of uh, wind uh, we can say clients by the early 2030s from plant that it is building in the virginia virginia is a region state of united states so these are the other development that is happening and fortunately at a much more faster uh, faster pace as we had imagined few years back and that is why we are hopeful that the energy generation in the world soon is going to take place using the process of nuclear fusion which is at the core of our sun so that is all for this particular video if you like the video please hit the like button share it with your fellow aspirants as well as subscribe to our channel for more such content thank you